To control Reason with an SL Mark II, you first have to set up Reason's preferences as follows. Under the Keyboards and Control Surfaces tab, click on Add, and then select Novation as the manufacturer. Then choose Automap Control as the model. Then select Automap Propeller Head as both the input and output port. If you are using an SL Mark II with a keyboard, you should then set that up too by clicking on Add again and choosing Novation, then Automap Keyboard, with the input port set to SL Mark II Port 1. Once set up, providing the SL Mark II is in Automap mode, it will map to the track currently selected in the Reason session. This can be selected by clicking on a track with the mouse or remotely using the last two buttons on the lower row of buttons on the right side of the controller. Alternatively, this row can be used to control Reason's transport. Whilst controlling an instrument, you can play it with the keyboard keys if you have them, and use the SL Mark II's controls to adjust parameters, according to the default layout for that instrument. The map for Maelstrom here has the oscillator controls on page 1, and the filter controls on page 2, toggled using the page up and down buttons in the top left of the front panel, or with the page left and right buttons on the zero SL Mark II. Selecting the mixer allows you to use the SL Mark II's controls to adjust track levels, sends, panning, mutes, and solos. As with any device in the Reason Rack, you can change the way this is mapped by activating Learn Mode and then using the Click Touch facility. Here, I've set up a second page to control tracks 9 to 14. As soon as you've finished making changes to the map for any area of Reason, you just need to select Set as Default Control Map for this client in the File menu of the Automap software before you select another track in Reason. Then. Every time you control that device in any Reason session, this is the way it will map to your SL Mark II.